Hey guys, welcome to Beyond Transmission. My name is Trevor Hagen. Today I'm coming to you from Las Vegas and I actually tried to do this out on the strip but uh, proved to be a little impossible. So here we are inside and today we're gonna be talking about sensory deprivation. Recently I spent an hour in a sensory deprivation tank and today I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my experience, um, some tips if you decide to go and some of the benefits from doing it as well. And what it is, it's a lightless soundproof pod that they fill with water at skin temperature uh, with about 80% Epsom salt. So this combination not only allows your body to completely float, but after a few minutes, you're actually unable to tell where the water and the air begin and ends. So you can imagine the feeling that you get. A lot of people say it's like floating in mid air. Others are able to kind of let go of their body completely and just sense their mind. Uh, sort of like you would if you were like really experienced, like a master at meditation. So anyway, when I went into the spa, at first I was a little worried about closing the pod completely because I, I didn't want to like experience any claustrophobia. But I did it anyway because I really wanted to have the full experience. So I shut it and I laid back. It was crazy. You just float instantly. And I quickly fell into a different state of mind. It really is crazy how quickly you can just let yourself go if you're prepared and you're really wanting to. Um, I experienced some euphoria for sure. And also I did get this disoriented feeling at one point as if I was like floating in the universe, not knowing which way was up, which way was down. It wasn't so much like a dizzying uh, feeling. I was in there for about an hour and time began to like bend a little bit. I remember worrying about how long I had been in there and stuff. Afterwards, I felt just totally relaxed, rejuvenated. I really enjoyed it. The world seemed like brand new and uh, I was very positive. Definitely not your typical spa experience. Um, anyway, some tips I would give anyone that's looking to go would be the following. Number one, prepare yourself physically. Go to the bathroom before you get in the tank. You don't wanna, you know, 20 minutes in need to disturb your experience to get out and go to the bathroom. Also avoid alcohol or caffeine the day of, um, just cause it kind of, it'll mess with the experience a little bit. And also cover up any scratches you might have, um, you know, with a Band-Aid or whatever, because the salt, yeah. Number two, the goal is to get into a meditative state as soon as possible to really take advantage of the time that you have in there. So. Just forget about your day, the past, the future, your problems, and just try to be in the moment. And you just wanna get in that zone. Number three is go in with a purpose. People that float consistently say that they actually find cures for insomnia, relief from chronic pain, anxiety, stress, depression, even addiction, and so on. So whether it's for something physical, mental, or spiritual, it's definitely worth going and knowing what you're looking for. One thing that I came away with was that when you're able to stop feeling the physical for just a moment and we are focused to rotate that focus to within ourselves instead of without ourselves all the time, we naturally begin to transcend our own brain and if we're lucky, touch the core of who we really are. In this space, call it whatever you'd like, the infinite, the unified field, the soul, whatever. But here exists everything you could possibly need. And the mind naturally delivers that to the brain and the body. We can't find answers to everything in this life, but if we stop searching outwardly and just decide to be, that's when we can experience the constant flow from within us, like a fountain of whatever it is we need. So anyway, I would strongly suggest anyone try this or any other method out there to unlock that power that exists that's actually waiting right within you right now. Anyway, check out my video on meditation as another method and feel free to subscribe, comment below with any thoughts or questions, and most importantly, stay curious. We'll see you next time.